Okay, I'm over here at the property at 1404 East 221st. I'm a little frustrated because I hired a new crew and they were working on two properties at the same time. Uh, the Ellesmere property and this property here. I have to go to court tomorrow in regards to violations. And the guys told me that they were done doing the exterior painting on two on Ellesmere. Hold on. That's your little truck? Huh? That's your little truck? No. Oh, okay, no, we're letting you in so get so you can get your bag up. I want right. you to get this debris from under the steps first, then inside the garage. Well, I'm taking it. I got some we'll issues. we'll figure that out later. Move your truck so I can let you in. I move my van. So uh anyway, I got everybody over here today and I gotta be over here uh personally supervising. Yesterday I'm running around to multiple locations, but today I have to keep my feet planted here because uh I need to make sure that this house gets done and also the property on Ellesmere. Um I evicted a tenant out of here. And uh, I got to get that garage repaired. And uh, paint it. So, so everybody's focused on this property today. So this is going to be video that's going to be broken up. see in the mirror there that I got a guy pushing his trailer back so we can get all that debris out of here and um, it's been raining so that kind of threw me a curveball because I wanted some exterior painting to be done but it's, it looks like it's clearing up so I'm going to have a, a couple of these guys break off from here and uh go get that other place painted so I kid you not this is one reason that I'm so looking forward to being done with rentals that's definitely a business I'm getting out of and then next I want to focus nothing but on new construction. Rehabbing. There was a time and place for rehabbing, but, you know, for me, new construction is graduation. It's hard now because it's hard to find workers that's willing to work. And yet, unfortunately, because the profit margins small you gotta hire these guys that just piece stuff together which is frustrating so today they're putting the drywall in at the new construction on Taylor Road I don't have to babysit those guys they know what to do they're professionals uh, we already got the insulation completed it's signed off by the city the drywall being delivered today insulation on that starts Friday and again, I don't have to babysit that. These guys for this rehab, you got to babysit it. They're not going to, they're rushing to get the job done. That's never going to be complete. You always got to go back and say, finish this. Just like the paint job on this house. It's not complete. And, and it's been, we've had nice days. So, I'm going to walk you around and show you what I got going on here. So there is an earlier video on this property. Okay, what I'm doing? You're getting all that debris from underneath this porch here, and you're getting all that debris out of the garage. Okay, so by the time you finish this porch, get all this stuff out of here, then they, have, they should be out of your way so you can work on up. So yeah, get all this debris here. Get all that debris under them steps there, that wood framing, tear all that stuff down. 
so I need it cleaned up. And then again, you once they get done, get all that stuff out the garage. So we're gonna build, rebuild them back steps there. Gotta cut out all that rotten wood. So the other guy just left here going to Home Depot to buy the treads for the back steps. Okay, so this is rehabbing. Now, I also have to leave around before one o'clock because I have to meet the electrical inspection at the Ellesmere property so he can sign off on that. My HVAC guy, which is a professional, uh, already been over to Ellesmere, did my certification for the furnace and hot water tank, so that's complete. That's already sent over to the city. So, today's one of those days where I have to pop the whip. And uh, it's nice when you can just get guys that know what to do when you don't have to pop the whip, they just responsible. But unfortunately, the reality is, and I don't get upset about it, but this, this is what rehabbing is all about. So, okay, so I'm gonna pause this video.